Hi, Hazel Mills here. Udio Audio have invited me back to talk to you about the filter on the Super 6 and to show you what is great about it, including the latest feature. All of these sounds are possible thanks to the voltage control filter on the Super 6, and this is what they sound like together. So just a brief explanation of how I put together some of those sounds and how the filter comes into play. Uh, starting with the pad and lead sound, which is making use of the newest feature of the filter, which is the high pass filter, now fully variable. So with the high pass filter set to fix and shift on, you can now access the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter by using the same fader as you would with the low pass filter. If I play low down here, just bring it all the way down so no low end is being taken away. And then just show you, that's the extreme, obviously. So much low end has been taken away, you can't hear the fundamentals, but you get the idea. So you can obviously find the sweet spot for some of those warm pads that you don't want too warm or too low endy so that they fit in nicely with any bass sounds that you might have. Similarly, you can make a great hi-hat sound by making use of the high-pass filter. So if you start, this is just an initial patch here, basic patch. I'm gonna set both oscillators to the noise waveform. And if you change the envelope so that there's no sustain and it's quite short, already that sounds quite a lot like a hi-hat. But if you then also bring in the high-pass filter, so set that to fix, hit shift, doesn't really sound like there's much going on low end wise but actually if I show you the extreme of a lot of it taken out it really thins it out and you can get more interesting by having key track on so depending where you are on the keys you get a variation in frequency so the bell sound the great thing about this filter is that if you turn the resonance up high enough, it will start to self-oscillate and create its own tone as though it's an oscillator in itself. So at the moment we're just hearing DDS1. Turning up the resonance here. So another tone comes into play, which I can change the pitch of by changing the frequency, the cutoff frequency of the filter. If you then make sure that key track is turned on, that pitch will change as the keys do. So we've got two different tones going on, so already kind of sounding quite bell-like because it's not just one tone with a bell. You get kind of multiple harmonics dancing around. So if I were to now bring in DDS2 at a completely different pitch, then this is sounding a lot more like a bell. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.